Hi everyone, this is Ben with Dream Factory. In this short video, I'm gonna talk about scripting, server-side scripting with Python. This video is similar to the other videos on PHP scripting, Node.js, and JavaScript, so basically the same material, but this time we're gonna cover it with Python. So uh, a little bit of context first. Um, go ahead and get yourself a Dream Factory instance. Here I'm running on uh, localhost. Wherever you've installed Dream Factory, you will have an account and you can log in. And prerequisite for this, of course, is to have some services. So make sure that you have some API endpoints. And once you have those endpoints, you may want to implement some logic. So actually, today we're going to cover a couple things. We're going to talk about process event scripts, and then I'll briefly cover writing uh, custom scripts as well with Python. So a process event is basically any action that you want to take on one of the API endpoints in Dream Factory, either on the request or the response. So for example, what we'll show today is a field validation. We'll also show a kind of workflow uh, scenario where you want to uh, basically kick off a push notification if a certain event occurs on an API call. So the first thing, the field validation, we'll go ahead and uh, you know click on scripts and then find the API endpoint that you want. You can think of this uh, user interface as basically an API tree for every, all of the API endpoints and you can traverse uh, and, and look at all of the endpoints and figure out which endpoint you want to put logic on. So here I'm going to go down to the database API. I'm going to uh, look at some tables and I want to decide, okay, do I want to do this on a post action or a put action or a get action or whatever the action is here, it'll be a post. So I'll go here. When I click on that, basically I'll see all of the tables and you'll notice a pre-process and a post-process. So it's pretty simple. You have the API name, the type of API it is here. We're gonna be making API calls on tables, the table name, the verb, and then the pre-process or post-process. So a pre-process example with Python is that you wanna do something simple such as a field validation. You wanna make sure that uh, you know, a specific field, for example, isn't empty when it gets submitted uh, to the server. So here you can pick your language. Um, here, of course, is Python. Uh, you could upload a file if you wanted, and that will bring that file in, the source code that, you, that you've written into this UI. Make sure that you make your script active, and if the script is going to modify either the request or the response, make sure you check that. This is related to how the system processes it, processes the uh, the script at runtime and, and relates to performance and optimization to make sure that you check that if you're gonna be actually altering the request or the response. So here you just write your Python code. One important thing, make sure that you have the bunch package installed uh, in order for this to work. Uh, you can do pip install bunch in order to get that. In this particular example, you just write a little bit of Python that, that runs prior to the script, uh, prior to the API call rather, inserting a d uh, database records. So basically loop through the payload, look and see if a field is empty. If it is, then raise a throw an error. Uh, so that's about it. And then on the response, similar type of thing, except this time we're gonna go to the contact table, but we're gonna post process on the post. So this basically means, okay, records got inserted, we get a response back. Uh, in this case, it'll be a 200 response successful. And then we're going to do something. So again, similar as before, select our language, make it active, uh, and then write your code. So here we're going to uh, basically write a little bit of Python code that uh, stores a payload uh, in a variable and then uh, creates a message and then uses the platform.api.post. So if you read our documentation, platform.api.post is really useful because you can call any other endpoint from a script, any other endpoint in Dream Factory. So that's about it uh, for event scripts, very brief overview. Um, if you know Python, this is really easy or else you can pick the other languages uh, that you like. So next what I'll do is show a quick example of creating a service. So this is basically a service as you, maybe you wanna write your own custom API. So Dream Factory auto generates APIs for tons and tons of different data sources so you don't have to write an API. However, sometimes you may wanna write an API and Dream Factory lets you do that. Uh, it's very easy, so when you go here, I'm just gonna show an example. Uh, when you create a new one, you basically go down to script and then you'll write a script and you would pick Python here. I'll show a worked example, just a, a little calculator API, similar to the other videos. This time I'll write it in Python. So give your API a name, a label, and a description. Make sure it's active. Uh, and then you can save it before you even write any code. Um, in the config section, you can either upload a Python routine, a script basically, uh, or you can type it in here. So this basically does some simple math operations using Python as the programming language. 
that's how the API will work at runtime when it gets some input parameters from the API call. And then you can optionally put in a service definition. What this is is basically a, uh, a Swagger or a YAML file, Swagger 2.0. Uh, we have a bunch of tutorials on this, but basically you can document the API. The use of that is you can then uh, see your calculator API that you wrote in Python or PHP or whatever language. It'll show up in the API docs with endpoints. And then you can actually attach logic on any of those endpoints if you want. So you can write custom APIs and then use event scripting to actually customize what happens on the request or the response in addition to just the raw API that you write. So all in all, um, very flexible system. Pick your language of choice, Python, PHP. You can also hook up a Node.js um, server and run it with DreamFactory or use V8.js, which is the native uh, PHP runtime for, uh, or sorry, JavaScript runtime for writing server-side scripts. So that's it in a nutshell. Uh, a couple other things you'll wanna see, if you go to wiki.dreamfactor.com, we have some, uh, a bunch of examples on server-side scripting with the different languages. The one that I showed today, the field validation and the push notification rule are here if you wanna see the code, as well as the custom scripting service uh, with math. So that, that should get you started. Uh, also check out uh, our YouTube channel, and you can go to dreamfactor.com slash resources for more information and links to the docs. Uh, as well as our community forum, and that's at community.dreamfactory.com. Okay, hope this was helpful, and thanks.